I've worked with Straub 120 players takes 40 minutes to play Beethoven's Ninth Symphony. How long would it take for 60 players to play the symphony? Today we're going to get to the bottom of this. Of course, I'm only one viola force into retirement by this quarantine, so we're going to answer a different question. If an orchestra of 120 players takes 40 minutes to play, be play Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, how long would it take for one viola player to play the symphony? Math analysis number 120 minutes to play one minute of the Beethoven Symphony. Is it possible? Is it not? Wait till the end to see. Okay, let's talk strategy. So we have an entire two, 120 minutes to record all the parts of the Beethoven 9th on viola and put it together. Which sounds like I have a lot of time for just one minute, but there's also there's also 25 parts. And remember that I have not touched my viola or practiced it since forever because I'm a violist. I'm going to record exactly one minute of the Beethoven 9th um, and listen to a recording of it at half speed and play along with it and record every single part there. And I will record on my phone because I think it's less likely to kill my computer than my camera. And I will be listening through AirPods. It's like how they always tell you you have to practice listening to the recording and at half speed, but you never really do until you want to. What am I doing? Well, that aside, I really want to see how this will turn out. So I'm going to go set a timer for two hours on my phone. Two hours. And let's start. Viola. So I'm playing cello right now and I forgot that cellos are on bass clef and it's so hard playing bass clef on viola and I have to transpose everything an octave up and it's weirding me out but we can do this. Let's pretend there's no cello part for now. Playing flute one and octave up. I cannot read treble clef when there are lots of lines on it because I'm a violist. So that's fun. Now I'm playing flute too. I learned that piccolo doesn't play. This makes me so happy. Okay, now time to play the dreaded first violin part. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, so my I'm going to play everything an octave down because I'm a violist. Okay, so first violin one didn't work out that well. I kept on playing everything in alto clef, between alto clef and treble clef. I'm so sorry, editor me. So let's just play everything in treble clef for the second violin part. I apologize in advance for all the screeches. The trombone part has 423 measures of rest. How do brass players do it? Okay, I just realized something. So I can't read bass clef, right? But I can always play it like I'm reading alto clef and tune everything down. And tune everything down. Okay, so I think the bassoon part actually works okay if I play it in bass clef. I think it's because I don't have to transpose in an octave down. I actually am doing fine with it. So I'm going to read bassoon 2 also in bass clef. Ah, I'm so excited! Except when it goes really low, then, then I will just not play things and hope that editor me can do something about it. Thanks. <laughs> okay, I was very scared about the clarinet part because I know clarinets transpose, but 
I'm here, it says it's in C, so I can actually play the clarinet part, so I'm super, super excited. I love the clarinet, except the fact that they trans That drives me crazy. How do they do that? Opal, but I know it's kind of high. I think I'll still play it in the right register because I realize that I cannot transpose. So let's do this. I think I got my horn part from a different part of IMS IMSLP, so it's still in F. I'd like to say that it is five notes low, so I'm just gonna play it like it is and then transpose it down five because that's totally how it works. <laughs> I now have the timpani part. I have never figured out why timpanis are pitched or how to tune timpanis. So I'm just gonna knock on a random spot on my viola for all the places that the timpani plays and hope for the best. Okay, so I have tromba next. I think that's trombone, but for some reason it's in D. I don't remember trombones ever being in D, and this has, like, it's written like it's in C. So I'm just gonna play it like it's written and transpose it later using Reaper. Uh, I have no idea why this is like this, and I do not understand brass instruments or any instruments that transpose because they make zero sense. Oh, wait, it's trumpet! That makes sense. I figured this out. It's trumpet. It's trumpet in B flat. And the reason why it's in D, it's because it's in B flat. So, and if this is in C, it has to move an a, a, like whatever it's written is one. It's a note, a whole note higher. So typically it would be in C, but it's in D because it's a whole note higher. So even if it's B flat, you think it's lower, but it's a note higher. I, I totally knew this before from my conducting classes. Yes. So now we've recorded everything, we will now put it into airdrop everything to my computer so I can put it into Reaper and use the rest of the time to edit. Again, I will not be at video editing during this because that would take way too long, so this is just the audio editing. Let's get to it. Update, it's taking forever to airdrop, but I guess that's part of my 120 minutes. So I'll just wait. Okay, so everything is now moved on to Reaper. I have 42 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm just gonna drop every video onto Reaper. I know half of these videos are just like really bad takes. You've probably already seen some of them. So I've now cut it to just the parts that I will be using, the 20 parts that I will be using, and look at listen to how beautiful it is. <laughs> You know what? That is the rehearsal. That's what the rehearsal sounds like. You know, like before they rehearse, there's always that like chaotic moment when everyone's practicing and people are talking and it's like you're filling into the concert hall. That That's exactly what that sounds like. What I'm gonna do now is go in and cut off the parts where I'm talking so at least I'm starting at the same spot and before I do any fancy editing and from there I will actually go back and turn all of the videos to the right speed because as you know, currently all of the clips are just over two minutes long and we want them to be exact, exactly one minute of music. Yeah. The end and see how bad this gets. Okay, now we've reached the middle school orchestra level. I'm going to go in there and actually edit the transposing instruments to the right keys. And um, and after that, I'm going to make sure. So currently, it looks like I definitely counted some things wrong. So I'm gonna go in and figure out where I miscounted. And I think after that, I'm gonna just like 
make more violins and more violas and more cellos just because I don't know how, actually I don't know how that would work because usually just wind and brass instruments are louder than string instruments and that's why we need more of them so it's like a court, viola quartet of all instrument parts we'll figure that part out along the way and I think I'll and then after that I'm gonna go in and like make the timpani actually sound like a timpani just through some nice maneuvering and yeah I'm excited okay see you okay we have eight minutes to go I've finally tuned everything down to the things, the notes that it's supposed to be. It still sounds god damn awful, but um, we still have one trick up our sleeve and that is moving, making everything faster. And hopefully that would not make it sound even worse. Okay, I have one minute and 43 seconds to go and I just realized that when I made everything faster, it um, kind of shifted everything everywhere, so I have to reorder everything. And also, I did not go in and see if I skipped any lines or played any wrong notes because I realized that editing takes time. I do not know why I did not see that before. Two seconds! Again, this took me exactly 120 minutes. I timed it. Um, I did spend a few minutes procrastinating and um, figuring out how electronics works and experimenting with things. But you know what? That's all part of the 120 minutes. So this is what it sounds like when one viola spends 120 minutes to play one minute of the Beethoven 9th Symphony. Let's see if our math problem is correct, shall we? I guess the answer is no. <laughs> I know it sounds awful, I made it. So, <laughs> I now have an extreme appreciation for the people that make the virtual orchestra videos. And if you want me to, if you actually want to see me put an effort into editing this so that it sounds coherent and more like the Beethoven Ninth, comment below. Maybe I will if I'm bored enough. Thank you so much for dealing with my bullshit, and I'll see you next time.